Yes, guys. We, we just gave Arsenal a point. I, I've had some bad games at Stamford Bridge, but I still don't think I felt this dejected coming out of a game just because we really should have fucking won this. I, I, I was ready to come on smoke. I had an Arsenal cooking stream prepared and everything. I had so much material and fucking Sanchez just threw it in the bin. It's crap. It's genuinely crap. Arsenal weren't the good team, but like, the one thing I keep saying about them all season, and I hate saying it, these motherfuckers are resilient. And we should be handling them. We should be performing better. We should at least be seeing the game out from 2-0 up, but one stupid, stupid fucking mistake, and we throw it away. We throw it away, and I, I really want to talk about how well everybody or most of the players play, but I can't do it now. I can't do it because we dropped two points. And we've just bottled it. It's as simple as that. We've just fucking thrown it away. In a game against Premier League tile contenders that a lot of people said we were going to lose, we had a position to take three big points and we just fucked it up. We played well for about 70 minutes. Got a, got a pen from Cole Palmer, which I do think was a penalty. It did seem like a handball. And we handled them well. We defended well. We were a little bit sloppy from playing out at the back, but... I think a pressing team like Arsenal is going to do that to you. They're going to do that to you. We handled ourselves though. So I feel like for 70, 75 minutes, I can look at that performance and say like, we did our job, but football's a 90 minute game. Can't say we won the game in 70 minutes. That's copium. Can't say we played well because that's copium. The fact is we just bottled it and we threw two points away in the palm of our hands. One silly mistake from Robert Sanchez is the difference. Just one mistake. It gives Arsenal momentum. Gusto does get caught sleeping at the far post. He had a good game in spite of all of that. But the domino effect all starts from Robert Sanchez. Like, all we had to do was play slow, safe football with 15 minutes left to go. And he just decides to make some hospital pass to Conor Gallagher that just puts him under pressure. I got no energy for Conor Gallagher. No negative energy. He played well today. He played well. Enzo played well. Caicedo played well. Cucurella had Saka in his back pocket. Don't know how the fuck he won man of the match. This literally makes no fucking sense to me. Should have at least been one of our players, but again, copium. That doesn't mean shit right now. What means, what actually matters is the three points, and we fucked that up. It's just dejecting. It's just, it's just dejecting. And at the very least, I guess we go into the Brighton, the Bo can't even get the team correct. The Brentford game with a little bit of confidence. I feel like we can have the same sort of game i guess but like we have this habit every single game of just falling asleep at some point we either fall asleep at the start of the game and then we grow and we build on it and we improve or we have a brilliant start to the game and we just fall asleep towards the end and fuck it up we don't we don't take our chances and yeah you could argue we did have chances in that game sanchez should have done a lot better not sanchez jackson should have done a lot better i think cole had a header go over the bar we could have just killed that three nil in all honesty but it's all ifs, buts and maybes. The fact is Arsenal had two opportunities, scored two goals and we're just fucking mudded again. Simple as we're mudded again. We had, the, we had a really good opportunity today because if we won, I feel the confidence going not just into the Brentford game, but the Spurs game, the Man City game, the Newcastle game would have been sky high. We've actually been the top half of the table as well now. Now we've got to rely on Sheffield United to get a result against Man U. That's where we are. That is where we are. It's, it's just shit. It's just fucking shit. And I'm not saying we played badly, but we just didn't do enough. I know people can say it's only two individual mistakes that are the difference, but that's the difference between a win and a draw, a draw and a loss. That is the exact difference between the two. I'd say Cucurella was my man of the match personally. I've been saying that guy's our best left back and he's a better defender than Chilwell. I feel like I got a little bit of vindication in that front. Silver and Colwell did really well. Gusto, good until the second goal. Caicedo, Enzo, Gallagher all played really well. We had limited chances up front, but we made the most out of them and we tested the goalkeeper with nearly every opportunity. It's just two mistakes, fuck it. And it's dejecting. It's really dejecting. I don't know what happens with Robert Sanchez because he's had good games for us. He's had bad games for us. I don't want to be reactionary and say drop him. But if he did get dropped, I wouldn't care either because the performance is just 
in big games, they're not good enough. And there's always one or two of these moments per match. Always one or two. Like, he's on sus watch right now. I think that's the right word to say. I think he's on sus watch, but... Uh, we go to Brentford at least. Hopefully Jackson's a bit more fit. He didn't do anything off the bench. Kind of the wrong decision to bring him on, but I don't really have any energy for Poch today. Don't think he did anything wrong. I think he set the team up to win. He got let down by the players. It's as simple as that. Can't blame him for it. Can't blame him for anything. I don't want to either. Like, fact is, just Robert Sanchez started the domino effect and it just killed us. It is what it is. We move to Brentford. So let's see what happens. Big up everybody. I'll be live tomorrow. Probably in the afternoon, 2 p.m. or something. I just I need a lot of alcohol right now. Need a lot of alcohol.